So this was going to be a chaos vlog, but I think it's probably more appropriate for it to be the very first episode of my series called The Road to Pikes Peak, as I am trying to get in shape to try and climb up Pikes Peak and back down. We'll see if it happens, but uh, let's get started with the episode. It's uh, a little after five o'clock in the morning, and um, I'm gonna do the Manitou Incline today. I've talked about it before that me and a friend want to conquer Pikes Peak sometime this year. We want to be able to go all the way up to the top of the mountain and all the way back down. Well, we got to start training for it. Um, instead of just kind of like doing some small hikes and runs and stuff like that, he wanted to jump straight into the incline. So I guess that's what we're doing this morning. I have tried the incline one time before. It was a horrible time to try, but it was in the middle of the afternoon. It was in the summer. I hadn't eaten lunch and I only made it halfway because it was so hot. I was not very energized because I hadn't eaten any lunch or anything and it's the middle of the day. I'd been doing a bunch of stuff earlier in the day so it was a bad time to try it. This is early in the morning, it'd be nice and cool. Um, hopefully it should work great and be able to get to the top, hopefully. <laughs> if you don't know what the Manitou Incline is, it is one mile of stairs. It's located just outside of Colorado Springs in the city of Manitou Springs. There's a bunch of rain and hail yesterday. So I'm Hope we don't want to get rained or hailed on while we're up there, but... Uh. Alright, we've arrived at the free parking lot to go for this thing. I don't think I'm as confident as you probably feel. You probably feel pretty confident that you're getting the top. I feel... I feel like I'm gonna probably throw up. Uh, halfway up and um, probably pass out. <laughs> no, it won't be that bad. I think, uh, I think we'll do a decent time. Uh, you're no throwing up today. You're a lot more uh, confident. I don't, I'm thinking five hours, maybe? Yeah, yeah. No, three. For sure. Three? <laughs> no. Take we'll see. This, it might be a while. beginning one mile ago it doesn't seem like a long time it doesn't seem like a long ways but it's a long ways I'm a little bit winded from walking up the steep ass street down there now we're finally on the incline <laughs> you should make it we'll be fine we'll see hopefully like Chris I will get here by dinner I'm trying to listen to see if you're breathing hard too <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cause I'm breathing a little bit heavy. I feel like we're only just now starting, but it's the streets fault. The streets are really steep. Yeah, they're pretty they're steep. Tough. So. Hey, here we go. We are not very far into it. We're I feel like we're I feel gonna, like I'm gonna die. <laughs> I feel like uh, David's gonna have to call in a helicopter for rescue, or just leave me. Whatever, whatever you feel like, man. At that Jesus point, we leave people. people. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you leave me, they don't have to do this again. Because yeah. we're gonna have to do this several times before. We actually do Pikes Peak. This is rough. Really rough. I'm exhausted. I feel like David, probably not so much. Oh yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying to me. I feel like I'm gonna die. David's like, ah, we can do this. We're at uh, 53 minutes into it at uh, almost a mile. I mean, 0.82 of a mile. So, I don't know. What, what do you think? Oh, we're gonna finish this. <laughs> In the next uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? I think we could do that. I'll be excited if we finish it in the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm starting to get a little bit more wind. Like, for a while, I was good. It wasn't so winded. Now it's getting there because we're getting really steep on the steps now. So now it's getting winded again, but I just feel it like in the head. I don't know if it's the combination of being out of shape and elevation or what, but we're getting there. Maybe. We're almost there. I think I was telling David, I think we should quit now, though. <laughs> We're only, I mean. Turn, turn the camera around so you can do it. <laughs> the top is right there. That's the top. You know, all that way back there. Back there is the fall summit where people think that's the top, but it's not really the top. Oh, shit, so, I think, I think we should turn back now. See, that guy. There's something really bad up there. This guy's running. Cause, <laughs> not because he's trying to work out, because there's something horrible at the very top. And he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh, all right, we're what? It's over a mile, by the way. This thing is more than a mile because we were at a mile back that way. We're over a mile now. Yeah. We're not. We're not making. Maybe a little bit. Maybe uh, a mile and a quarter, or something like that. I don't know. It's like four. No, might be. Might be a mile and a half. We'll see. No, nah, I don't think it's a mile and a half. No. 
Almost there though. There's a big bar trail down. Yeah. David thought we were gonna make it like an hour and a half, right? Whole thing. Yeah. I was exaggerating saying three hours. We're getting closer to that. I mean, we're no, almost... no, we're, we're getting closer <laughs> to two hours. Yeah, well, we're almost to two hours now, but I feel like I was closer than he was. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're almost there. I think we'll, I think we'll make it. Maybe. If you found this camera in the bushes somewhere with a dead body, then maybe I didn't make it. Then I left Chris. And yeah. I... <laughs> we made it up to the top. I'll show you the view in a minute. When I don't look like so much like I'm dying. <laughs> but a little under two two hours. Under two hours. Yeah, two hours and like, what was it? It was an hour 53? and 50. Or an hour, hour and 53. David wanted to push it to make it under two hours, so we did do that. Anyone that knows me. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like me. All right, now, for the way down, David's gonna give you a piggyback ride. Mm. No, that's <laughs> it's a little bit better now. I'll show you the view. There it is. This is what we did. Whew. That was rough. So now we're on Bar Trail. This is the way down. Some people go back down those steps, which that'd be probably still a pretty crazy workout. I feel like it's unsafe. I feel like the risk of falling yeah, is way bad. Where this trail. It's pretty, it's pretty good. So, going back down. Is this about the same distance or you think it's like longer? Oh, it's definitely longer because of the cutback. The oh, so it's longer distance. I'll be able to tell you at the end because I got my little hiking app running. So I'll tell you how long it was and we get to the end, but it's a lot, uh, a lot easier. Maybe we might have to jog at some point in time. Maybe, I don't know. I feel pretty motivated now that we're finally done and off the steps. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I feel great. We can do that again. No, I'm just kidding. It's definitely less exhausting. <laughs> yeah. going down. I feel like we could do it one more time. <laughs> Fuck. Have you ever done it twice? No. In a day? No. Uh, no. Maybe that should be the goal. Maybe before we do Pike's Peak. Maybe like towards the end. Let's do it twice? Yeah, when I'm like really good shape maybe by then. I don't know. I, th I say that now. I don't know if I'll actually be in that good of shape. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. But maybe, maybe that could be a cool thing to try to accomplish. I think we have some time. Maybe like the, a few weeks or something like that before the actual Pikes Peak climb. We try to do the incline twice. We go to the top, take bar trail down, and then go up one more time and then back bar, down bar trail. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if there's people that do that. I feel like that's real hardcore though. Oh, well, some of those people were doing that when we were there. Huh? That's hardcore. I mean, I saw the ladies like go all the way down and then they, the, the older ladies too. I was like, Jesus. That's hardcore. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely got to get in a lot better shape than what I'm in right now to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Down the trail we go. So this is actually also the trail that we would take when we want to do Pikes Peak in September. There's a little cutoff right here that kind of tells us, hey, that way to the incline, that way up to the Pikes Peak Summit. So we're going the downhill route today. Eventually we want to do this one the uphill route, maybe as a practice too. Yeah. So we'll mix it up, do the incline, do this guy and stuff. But this is part of the, the way that we'll have to go when we're going to the top of Pikes Peak. So it gets a little bit of a recon kind of of the area. We're jogging a little bit of it. It's kind of feels a little bit good to stretch the legs out. We're doing good. We made it. We made it back down. I think it was harder going down than it was up. One hour and six minutes on the way down. So obviously a lot faster, but farther <laughs> distance. So, I mean, that's pretty good. That was 3.25 miles for the way down. And it was what, 1.75 up, wasn't it? Yeah. So, Something about five miles? I think, I think that whipped us into shape, I think, going up. And so that's why we had such a great time on the way down. Oh yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Only an hour? We did three miles in an hour, where it took us an hour, almost two hours, to do a mile, mile and a half. Mile and a half, yes. Rough, man. We're in great shape now. <laughs> yeah. All right, so back at the car. I'm gonna give me something to eat. Might even take a nap. I don't know. I thought about maybe uh, getting some Epsom salt, Epsom salt, <laughs> and trying to do like an Epsom salt bath, maybe to help kind of, you know, limit the amount of soreness that I'm gonna have. Because I'm sure I'm probably gonna be sore as hell tomorrow. But this is the first phase of getting in shape because in September it's gonna be a lot, a lot tougher trying to get up Pikes Peak. So we're up Pikes Peak and back down. So between now and then we're. We'll do the incline several times, uh, probably Bar Trail, which is like a trail uh, next to it. That's actually the way we went down. That was Bar Trail. 
Um, we even talked about maybe even at some point going all the way to the top, like getting dropped off or something at the very top of Pikes Peak and walking all the way down it. So we can kind of recon the trail a little bit. And that'll still be a good workout of just going down the hill. Um, but when we actually get down to it and we do the big one, that's going, I mean, going all the way up and all the way down. So that'll be a rough one. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a big good challenge. So thanks for watching. If you want to see some more episodes, some of my other army videos stuff, check out these guys right over there. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content. Christopher Chaos, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.